Five ways to find the best converting content. If you want to make money online, you have to find content that converts. You have to do it immediately. How do you know that the content converts? Here are five indicators that would help you craft content strategy that would take your business to the next level. You have to add these factors together. No one factor predominates. Social media popularity. When stuff gets popular on social media in your niche, sit up and pay attention. It seems that people who truly matter in your niche, and I'm talking about the movers and shakers, find something interesting about a particular piece of content. Pick apart that content, because if it gets their attention and becomes viral because they keep talking about it, it's a good idea to come up with similar content. Influence your popularity. If it seems that the movers and shakers in your niche can't seem to shut up about a particular topic, you may want to investigate further. If you give them stuff to talk about, don't be surprised if they start promoting your content because it fits their agenda. You can piggyback on whatever credibility or niche authority they have managed to build for themselves. You get to benefit from their brand authority within your niche. Top search results with great backlinks. Another great way to find the best converting content is to do simple Google searches. Find keywords related to your niche and look them up on Google. You would see the top articles or content related to that content. Use tools like ahrefs.com to see the backlinks of these articles. If you notice that a lot of these backlink sources are credible in their own right, you may want to focus on top-ranked content that gets the most quality backlinks. You might want to reverse engineer that content. Great format. High-quality content converts well because it's formatted right. Even the most entertaining or most informative piece of content will not get read if it's formatted in a very intimidating way. Pay attention to the well-formatted content in your niche. Format your stuff the same way. Great call to action. When people read a piece of content, they read it because they want to solve a problem. They read it because they have some sort of need. As awesome as the information is, you should not leave them hanging. You have to remember that when people read your content and they continue to read it, there is a point where they have developed trust in you. Make use of that trust by calling these people to action. Maybe you can get them to sign up for your mailing list. Perhaps you can get them to click on ads. Whatever the case may be, they have to take action. Keep the tips above in mind to turbocharge your content. If your affiliate income is fairly low, it may be because you have not optimized your content to convert. How to turbocharge your affiliate income in one step. If you want to make money, please understand this will only happen on a consistent basis if you optimize. There is really no other way. Sure, you hear a lot of stories about people who just put up a website and randomly made a million dollars. Unfortunately, these stories are few and far between. The more common stories are when people put up a website and they did not optimize it. They did not listen to their customers. They did not do anything to promote the website. Not surprisingly, the website went belly up. That is an all too common story. It happens all the time. If you want to be successful, you have to optimize. This really boils down to being systematic and methodical. Somebody can say that they are optimizing their pages, but if they're just taking random guesses, then it's anybody's guess whether those guesses will actually hit the mark. You have to be systematic and methodical about this. Use an element by element approach. Your whole website or your whole online presence can be stripped apart in terms of element. There's the graphics, the text, the call to action, the layout, and so on and so forth. Focus on each element. Optimize each element one at a time. Don't do it all at once. Here's how you do it. First, come up with a variation of the element, maybe five variations. Run the traffic through the website and pick the variation that produced most of the desired outcome. Maybe your desired outcomes are clicks. Perhaps your desired outcome involves some sort of email list signup. Whatever the case may be, pick the winner. Once you have identified the winner of that particular element, maybe this is a picture, Perhaps this is a text title or something else. Come up with five variations. See if you can improve results even more. Keep repeating this until the element no longer increases conversions. You can then move on to the next element. This is how you can turbocharge your affiliate income. It really boils down to one step. That step is a systematic and methodical form of optimization. Six ways your niche may be holding down your affiliate income. Make no mistake. If you pick the wrong niche, chances are your affiliate income will not be what you desire. Whether you want to make $5,000 a month or $50,000 a month, you can kiss those dreams goodbye because you picked the wrong niche. Here are six ways you can find out if your niche is getting in the way of your affiliate income empire dreams. Lack of scalability. 
If your niche income seems to be stuck and you can't just add new products or explore other sub-niches within your niche, then you have picked the wrong niche. Why? It doesn't scale up. Massive competition. If you pick a niche that has too much competition, it would seem that the internet is saturated with websites that cater to your niche. This is a serious problem because your prospective visitors don't really have an incentive to go to your website. They think that the internet is filled with the kind of information that you offer at your site. Why should they go to your site when all that information can be had elsewhere? Low Profit Margins or ROI If your niche has a low return on investment, you're going to be in trouble because this means that you're going to have to pour a lot of cash just to basically get a little above the amount of money you put in. This is capital intensive. It also burns up a tremendous amount of time. Short-lived or trendy niche. If you pick a niche that depends on trends or what's fashionable, chances are your niche is not going to make all that much money. First of all, you're probably going to be late in the game. Second, if the trend dies down, you may still be making money, but it's going to be very little money. It may not be worth it. Low affiliate demand. If you pick a niche that doesn't really get much love from affiliate programs, or there are very few product developers or companies offering affiliate products, you really can't make that much money off your niche. You're basically stuck with offering the same affiliate products that everybody else in your niche is offering. That competition is going to eat into your profits. Shallow Affiliate Product Availability If you pick a niche that is very hot and there are many affiliate product producers, you may be thinking that you picked the right niche. However, here's the problem. If all of them are basically offering the same type of product, your niche will look mighty saturated to your potential customers. They really have no incentive to buy because they feel this stuff is all over the place. Keep these tips in mind because the niche that you selected may be holding down your affiliate income. The 5 Hallmarks of Solid Social Media Content Everybody is talking about social media marketing. Everybody is excited about how social media can help their business or help them build a solid brand online. This is all well and good, but the problem is most people neglect the power and importance of content in social media marketing. Too many people think that the secret to social media marketing is their brand presence on social media. This is wrong. Not only should you have a solid brand presence, but your brand presence must take the form most solid content that people would want to read and share on social media platforms. Here are the five hallmarks of great social media content. Great social signals. If you produce content that gets a lot of social signals like Facebook shares, Facebook likes, Twitter retweets, you know you're on the right track. This should be your metric for success on social media. Is your content resonating with your target audience members? Are you talking about stuff that they truly want to read? Because if they're not listening to you, they're probably not going to care about stuff that you're selling. It really doesn't get any more basic than that. Deep interlinks with other content from the same site. Really solid social media content on Twitter and other places are not islands. When people share content, the content grips the attention of the reader, but the reader has the opportunity to keep clicking links that take them deeper and deeper into the marketer's website. That's how you play the game. Don't just publish content with no links to your website or to your other properties or content. The more you get your reader to dwell on your site, the higher the chance that you would convert that person. Mentions Influencers Solid social media content mentions the names of movers and shakers in your niche. This increases the likelihood that these people would also promote your content. You're basically getting a free right off the brand authority that they have developed for themselves. Reverse engineered top niche content. Solid social media content is actually not original. Instead, they are based on themes and topics raised by content produced by other players in a niche. These are tried and proven attention getters. While these are original pieces of content, their themes and topics are not. Use that formula. Has your brand's unique spin. I wish I could tell you that you just need to copy and paste other people's topics and themes, and you will be successful on social media and marketing. Unfortunately, that would be a lie. You have to reverse engineer their hot content topics, but you have to produce original content. This means that you're going to have to improve on the content that's out there. You have to give it your brand's unique spin. What is it about your brand that would make your content unique? Do you focus on controversies? Do you focus on innovation? Your brand has to have its own distinct personality. Otherwise, you're going to be putting your social media content in the ridiculous position of being generic. Basically, your prospective reader would say to himself or herself, I've seen this stuff before at other websites. Why should I read it from this website?
Keep the five hallmarks above in mind if you're serious about producing high quality social media content. The key here is to get your content spread on social media. The hope is if it spreads far enough, your website gets a lot more links as well as more direct visitors. Increase the likelihood of that happening by making sure your content has all the five hallmarks described above. Six reasons why you should focus on niche selection. Make no mistake, niche selection will make or break your affiliate marketing business. It really will. This is why a lot of affiliate marketers simply fail because right out of the gate, they pick the wrong niche. You have to pick the right niche. Otherwise, your business is basically dead on arrival. Here are the six reasons why you should have a laser focus on the right niche. Niche determines demand. If you pick the wrong niche, you might be building a business that doesn't really have that much demand. Even if you are able to get a few sales here and there, the demand level will not justify the time, effort, and money you invest in your business. Niche determines long-lasting demand. It really would be quite sad for you to build a business that takes off initially because of heavy demand, but since your niche is very trendy or doesn't last all that long, the demand drops like a rock and your business goes belly up sooner rather than later. Niche determines commercial value. Even if your online properties get a lot of traffic from search engines and other online traffic sources, if your niche has very little commercial value, all that traffic would be wasted. Sure, people might be clicking on ads. People might even be buying stuff. However, the dollar value of all that activity is very low. If you look at the big picture, it turns out that you put in all this time, effort, and money only to suffer from a very low return on investment. Niche impacts social media. It's always a good idea to build an online business that already has some sort of traction on social media. This makes your promotions job easier. The demand already exists, so you know where to appeal to people in places like Facebook and Twitter. This is not a deal killer, but it definitely saves so much time that you can free up resources to scale up your business and increase its chances of success. Niche impacts your passion level. If you focus on a niche you don't really care for, it's only a matter of time until your business dies. Why? Well, when problems appear, you just don't have the heart or the interest to get to the bottom of the problem. Compare this to a niche that you're truly personally passionate about. In that case, you would have the time, patience, and energy to pick apart problems and come up with better solutions. Niche impacts conversion methods. Depending on the niche you pick, your methods for converting traffic into cold hard cash might be very, very narrow. It's going to be a very serious problem because all the other websites in that niche use the same model. For example, blogging, then you're going to be in trouble. Why? There's too much competition. It would look like your niche is saturated because it only converts a certain way. Keep these niche issues in mind. Otherwise, you might be engineering your affiliate marketing business to fail. Four ways you are killing your passive income empire dreams. Make no mistake about it. One of the best ways to earn a living is to do it with as little work as possible. This doesn't mean that you're not going to do any kind of work. What passive income means is you work once, but you earn many times over. Compare this with active income, where you have to show up to work at your 9-to-5 job, or you don't get paid. Active income boils down to no work, no pay. Passive income flips the script. You can work very little and still earn an income. With that said, if you're trying to build a passive income empire, you may be doing four things that may be killing your dreams. Worst of all, you're probably not aware of it. You settle for quick freelancing money. If you confuse building a passive income with making some money doing side jobs online for other people, you're doing it wrong. Freelancing is not the same as passive income building. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't do freelancing. You should get some cash coming in to fund your up-and-coming passive income empire. However, you should not confuse the two. Freelancing is essentially active income, but on your own terms. You work your model to perfection. How many times have you put up an online business, but somehow, some way, it just isn't right? If you keep doing this, chances are you're going to fail. Why? There's no such thing as perfection. You have to learn when to move on to the next project. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck with one project for a long, long time. You can't let go of your 9-to-5 job. I know people who are making full-time incomes with their passive income empire, but still cannot let go of their 9-to-5 job. If you find yourself in that situation, please understand that the reason you can't let go is due to your emotional attachment. It has nothing to do with financial reality. Focus on what works. Learn to let go. 
You only invest time in passive income planning when you have time to spare. Make no mistake, the better you plan your passive income empire, the more likely it will work and the more likely it will get off the ground in the first place. Unfortunately, if you don't give it enough time, it simply won't work out. It really is that basic. Keep these four dream killers in mind. You might be engaged in them and you don't know it. If any of these sound familiar, you need to stop, let go, and focus on what works. The seven secrets of affiliate success most marketers will not tell you. There is no shortage of affiliate marketing success books on the market. In fact, there are too many of them. Unfortunately, if you read any one of them, you probably will not be all that successful. Why? Real successful affiliate marketers have seven secrets that they do not want other people to know. They're not going to voluntarily share this information. If you wrap your mind around these secrets, you increase your chances of affiliate marketing success. They know how to say no. Successful affiliate marketers are exposed to many opportunities. In fact, they are exposed to too many opportunities. Accordingly, they have developed a great ability to turn down opportunities. They are focused. Now, this doesn't mean that they're not open to any and all opportunities. Instead, they have a fairly clear idea of the kind of opportunities that make sense to them. They fail quickly. Sadly, not all opportunities lead to money. Some are just dead ends. Others take a lot of time. Others take a lot of resources. Successful affiliate marketers know how to set up a business, and if it doesn't meet certain requirements, they shut it down, and then they move on. They learn their lesson, and they do it quickly. They ask for help. Successful affiliate marketers are not loners. While some of them may be antisocial, they are not shy when it comes to asking for expert help. They do not let their pride or ego get in the way of getting the help they need to succeed. They know when to stop bootstrapping. A lot of affiliate marketers who stay small remain small because their budget stays small. While there are a lot of good things about bootstrapping, if you want to be truly successful, you will have to learn how to finance your affiliate marketing empire. Learn to take investors. The only role of bootstrapping really is to validate your proof of concept. They focus on scalability. Successful affiliate marketers start small, but they don't stay small. They pick opportunities based on the opportunity's ability to scale up into a larger and larger business. Otherwise, they're not interested. They understand opportunity costs. This is a big one. Successful affiliate marketers understand that if they're doing one thing that pays $10 an hour, they may be staying away from something that could have been paying $200 an hour. This is why they focus on return on effort. You should too. They optimize in a systematic way. All business people understand the importance of optimization. However, the successful ones do it in a systematic way. They don't just jump in and do things randomly. They have a series of steps that they follow, which leads to predictable results or predictable measurements. Keep the seven secrets above in mind so your affiliate marketing efforts become successful. The money is in the list, but not in the way you think. How many times have you heard of the old saying among affiliate marketers, the money is in the list? Chances are you've heard of it quite a bit. The reason this saying is so popular in the affiliate marketing community is because it's absolutely true. However, you need to go past the saying. Simply building a list is not going to make your affiliate marketing business successful. That's just not going to happen. In fact, if you just put up a mailing list, chances are it's going to cost you money every month and you'll have nothing to show for it. In other words, you'll be getting the same result as the vast majority of people who put up a mailing list. The reason for this is because they're not doing it the right way. You have to understand that the key to mailing list success is relationship building. That's what it is. It's a relationship. When people sign up for your mailing list, they want a relationship with your business. Give them that relationship. How? First, you need to build that relationship by actively listening. People sign up to your list not because they have nothing else better to do. They sign up because they have a need to fill. They have a problem to solve. Get to the root of these issues. Make sure that your updates to your mailing list reflect the answers to these issues. Next, you need to get your list members emotionally invested in what you're doing. They have to be made to feel like they matter. They have to be made to feel like they're part of something big or something great. If people feel that your business is just basically going on about its business on autopilot, people are really not going to care. They feel that it's going to succeed regardless of whether they have a role in it to play or not. So, they just step out. Finally, 
Build a personal brand. You have to understand that people are not interested in a relationship with some faceless, distant, remote corporation. They also don't want to deal with an anonymous company. Instead, they want to be emotionally involved with or at least have some sort of tie with a personal brand. In other words, their hopes and aspirations regarding the solution that they're looking for is tied into your personalization of your brand. That's how you get people emotionally invested. That's how you make them feel like you're listening to them. Keep these in mind because otherwise your list is just not going to make any money. The old saying of, the money is in the list, is just going to remain exactly that for you. A saying. Turn it into a reality. Build it on the solid foundation of a brand relationships. Six ways to prevent your affiliate business from crashing and burning. As exciting as affiliate marketing is, you have to understand that success is a habit, and just like any habit, there are rituals that you have to follow. Unfortunately, it's very easy to get excited about making money online and have very little to show for it. There are lots of people who would be eager to take your money in exchange for products. These products don't get you where you need to go, mostly because of your own choices. If the choices you're making are not leading you to where you want to go, you need to start making new choices. Here are six ways to prevent your dreams from crashing and burning. Create a daily schedule for consistent work. Even if you have only one hour to spend on affiliate marketing every single day, do it. Stick to one hour. Regardless of how sick you feel, regardless of your emotions, just stick to that schedule. Consistency is the most important factor for success. Just stick to that daily schedule. When you devote an hour, spend the whole hour on actually working on your affiliate marketing business. Devote at least one hour to only industry research every single day. Create a consistent scaling schedule. Once you have built up your business, decide when you will be scaling up your operations. Maybe this involves launching a new site. Perhaps this involves setting up a new service. Whatever the case may be, create a schedule when you will scale. Put it on your calendar. Say to yourself, Okay, I will give myself three months and then I will scale up and launch a new product. Stick to that schedule. Learn to spot success. Of all the things you have going for you on the internet, only a few produce substantial results. Learn to spot those. Build on your success. You should learn how to spot success and cut out the ones that are not successful. This is the key to failing quickly. After you have identified the successful projects, build on their success. Scale them up. Replicate them. Enjoy the journey. As you make your way through the exciting world of affiliate marketing, understand that it is a journey. It's not a destination. It is not you getting to the point where you're making $10 million a year. Instead, it's a journey where you learn new things. You can figure out the things that work. You can figure out the things that don't work. You also learn about yourself. Enjoy the ride. Keep the six tips above in mind if you want to take your affiliate business to the next level. If you lose sight of these, chances are your business is not going to go anywhere. In fact, it might even crash and burn. The choice is yours. This is the single most important factor to affiliate success. You probably have heard all sorts of factors that people attribute to affiliate success. Some say that you must have the right connections. Others say that you have to be really, really smart. Other people say that you have to be resourceful or imaginative. I say to all of that, hogwash. Why? I know people who are not all that smart, but they have a huge amount of money. No, they did not cheat. They did not lie. They did not murder anybody. Instead, they have grit. Grit really boils down to hanging on while everybody else is running for the exit. Grit is all about sticking to something you committed to, regardless of how tempting alternatives are. If you practice grit, meaning you focus on what you committed to, which is to build an online passive income affiliate marketing empire, then sooner or later you will be successful. That is a guarantee. Why? You will avoid the following problems. You will not be paralyzed by analysis paralysis. You will focus on solutions and keep pushing and implementing them until they produce the results that you want. You also avoid the tendency of many people to try something once, and if it doesn't work out, then they quit. No, you try it, change things around, and you try it again and keep changing until you get it right. Finally, if you practice grit, you will be able to stick to what you committed to regardless of how you feel, regardless of how other people treat you. You just kept pushing until you win. How does grit work? Well, it really all boils down to committing to sticking to it. It doesn't matter what you're feeling that day. It doesn't matter what other people say. 
It doesn't matter what kind of results you get, even if you're getting very few results. Instead, you focus on what works, isolate the success, scale it up, make variations of it, test it out, pick the winner, and make variations of it again until it can't be optimized anymore. Then you scale it up and diversify. That's how truly successful affiliate marketers stick to the game. They have a game plan.